sounds good. Hey everyone, Parchman here. I'm doing my beauty routine this morning. Hopefully it works. Just gonna have you guys hang out with me today and go through like a normal day. Hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna get my shower. You're not gonna come along for that part. See you soon. <laughs> Hey everyone! <laughs> I changed my mind, I had to show you something. Look at this painting my friend Melissa Foreman made about, oh, probably 15 years ago, of me putting on a mud mask. Continuing the tour of bathroom art, this one is by Michael Bryant, who is an awesome guy, super talented, very nice. I got two of his in here. One's right over the toilet. Sorry, Michael, but it does sort of fit. My day actually started a little bit earlier than this at around six o'clock, because I get up when my husband does. He's a nurse practitioner, and I make him a little breakfast and take care of our dogs, who you will meet in a little bit, and pack him a lunch. And I always write a little note or draw him a little picture because I'm a romantic sap like that. I'm very much a morning person. I don't know about you guys. Dennis is a total op is the total opposite of me. He's a night. He likes the night better. He gets very annoyed with how chipper I am in the morning. Like, hello, honey, wake up! And I'm always showering him with praise. How's the cutest boy in the world? And then he just pulls the blanket up over his face. He's not ready for that shit yet. You have to start out the day with cute undies, or else it's just all gonna be downhill from there. I guess I'll wear pants today since you guys are here. Plus I have to run errands, so that could get weird. So I got up at six, took the puppies out, gave them breakfast, and ever since then, they have pretty much been chillin'. Seamus, did you kick your sister off the couch? <laughs> <laughs> what you doing down there, honey? Hmm? Say hi to everyone. Hey, Seamus. Let's take that off. She has many layers in her costume reveal. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> no. That's my puppy. It's very foresty. A few years ago, if you had told me I'd be picking up dog poop in a forest, I probably would have laughed in your face. Mm. Okay, time for a grocery store trip. Whenever anyone comes to visit us, we always make them go do a photo shoot with us at this place on Cannery Row. I usually end up wanting to be one of the pretty girls. It's kind of a gray day. So for everyone who has only seen videos of me doing big gay parties in West Hollywood and making paintings for James Franco, you should know that this is probably a little more accurate window into my day-to-day -day life. I am doing my big outing for the day, which is a trip to Trader Joe's. And then I'm going to go back home and get to work. It's beautiful out now. Have to get the ingredients for dinner tonight. Indian vegetable soup. Hello. What have you guys been up to? What is it? What have you been up to? Hi, buddy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Welcome to my office. I got a fun surprise that I've been waiting for. Oh, but I can't show it to you yet because it's for a future YouTube video project. You'll just have to wait and see. I'll look at that later. The first thing I usually do is look at my to-do list from yesterday. You can see I include important things like make hair appointment. Thankfully that one got finished. So I'm the art director for a publishing company called Dream Spinner Press and we publish gay fiction novels all different genres romance, mystery, fantasy, sci-fi we have a young adult imprint called Harmony Inc. We do a lot of books, and my role is, as the associate art director is to coordinate all the book covers, and I make all, a lot of the ads and promo and graphic design work that 
the company needs to. So it's a, it's a great job, a wonderful group of people. I absolutely love it and I get to work right here. Have you ever had this salted caramel cold brew coffee? It's Calathea Farms. I know it seems like they might be paying me to do this. <laughs> They're not. They should. It's really good. I love it. I'm so addicted to this right now. I drink too much of it. Lunch time. You can see I worked real hard making it. Thank you, Trader Joe's. Day just flies by when you're here. I am uh, working on a book cover right now. I finished all my emails earlier, took care of some other stuff, had a nice little chat with my mom, and now back to work. So this cover is almost done. It's for a book called Revelations by Ariel Takna. And I just need to make a couple of tweaks, including I need to take the date off of this sword and replace these medals with a dog tag. A lot of my book cover work I do in Photoshop. A lot of the books, you know, have gay couples on the covers, and there still aren't a lot of great stock photo options for that. So a lot of times I'll end up taking like two photos of straight couples and Photoshopping out the ladies and putting the two dudes together. And it's just made me realize how you cannot trust anything at all that you ever see in photographs <laughs> in magazines because you can basically just, well, you can do anything. You can make it whatever you want. But I would never alter a photo of myself. Ta da! Such a good feeling. I think they've got the right idea. Look who decided to come up and join me. Hello. It's very hard to stay focused when you're surrounded by so much cuteness. Hello. For Nectarine. I'm working on a new cover that I can't show you yet. That's why you're over there now. Look at this awesome present that my mom sent me a couple months ago for my birthday. I've got another version of her over here. I was a big fan of Snow White and especially of Wicked Queens. Probably says a lot about me. When I was probably like, gosh, three years old, I guess, maybe. I truly like wanted to be Snow White and I would go around the house singing Snow White songs and dressing in outfits that I made like Snow White. And so one day my dad came home from work and he said to me, I stopped at the magic store on the way home and I found a shot that I can give you that if you get the shot, it will turn you into Snow White, but you'll be Snow White forever. Do you want me, do you want it? I was like, yes. So he had me like close my eyes and then he just kind of like pinched my arm or something. And then I was, he said, okay, so tomorrow when you wake up, you're gonna be Snow White. Went to bed, then I woke up like a couple hours later and I was just like distraught because suddenly I realized like if I was Snow White, <laughs> then I wouldn't be me anymore. And I, and I wasn't sure that I was okay with that anymore. So I went running into my parents' room, said, you've got to do something. You got to fix this. I don't want to be Snow White. And my dad said, don't worry, we can fix it. So he pinched my arm again and said I was cured and I was not going to turn into Snow White in a very twisted, weird, but very him way. He taught me that you should always want to be yourself, but I still do have a soft spot for Snow White too. This is a little tribute to my dad who passed away this year in March. Some of his favorite hats. And that's a picture of the two of us. And the sculpture from my husband's parents, they sent that to me after it happened. And then this necklace is blown glass and it actually has uh, some of his ashes are mixed in with the glass. So that's real special. I keep it right here by me on my desk. 
so that he's always kind of right here with me. That's one of my favorite paintings that I've done of Dennis and me. This is one of my favorite pieces of art that we own. It's a diptych by an artist named Adam Collier Noel, and we bought it at the Rossetti Fine Art Gallery uh, in Wilton Manors, Florida, which is a gallery that also represents me. He does um, all kinds of amazing work. You really, you should look him up. Hi. He has a hard time with the steps. He's our little old man. Seamus is 13, so it takes him a little bit. You wanna come up? Come on, buddy. You can do it. Come on up. Oh, good boy. It is clearly puppy time again. <laughs> now I'm working on dinner using all that stuff I bought earlier at Trader Joe's. When Dennis and I first got together, I did not know how to cook anything. Like we went to a cabin in the woods one time and I was distressed because um, we brought oatmeal and I didn't know how to make it without a microwave. So I did have to learn a little when he decided to go back to school. I'm still not great though. My sister is a chef. She is amazing. I have to follow this very closely. So I'll tell you what I'm making because whenever I cook, I like to pretend that I'm hosting a cooking show. But you trim an eggplant. <laughs> That's the first step. And then cut it into little pieces. This one is an Indian vegetable soup recipe. You make it in the slow cooker. I love how in cooking shows, everyone's always so calm and relaxed and beautiful. That would not be what my cooking show would be like. Oh, next, <laughs> by the way, since I forgot what I was doing, a pound of tiny potatoes, chopped in half is how I like to do it. Usually the chefs on cooking shows don't have the recipe sitting right in front of them either. So next we are going to add in the vegetable broth, 28 ounces to be precise. One can of diced tomatoes, garbanzo beans rinsed and drained and all of that. Half teaspoon of ginger. Can you open, can you open this for me? One and a half teaspoons of curry powder. One teaspoon of coriander. And a little bit of pepper and salt. Then you just stir it up and put it on high for four and a half to five hours and you have an amazing dinner. And it's really good if you cut up cilantro to put on top. I'm excited, I want it now. Puppy dinner time, which is a whole production around here because you guys have very sensitive tummies, don't you? So there's a whole concoction of things that I have to mix together. Oh, yes. Oh, fascinating. <laughs> what is that sound? <laughs> I have to keep them separate when they eat because otherwise she'll eat all of his food. Here's yours. Here's yours. like our dinner's coming along good too. I have enjoyed hanging out with you guys. Thank you so much for joining me here on my super exciting, glamorous Tuesday. Oh, she's out. Did you enjoy it, Seamus? That's his excited face. Take a second and subscribe to my channel so that you can come hang out with us again. Who could pass up this adorable little cute face? Hmm?